A changing global economic landscape means that new skills are in demand. And in the small village of Korowawa in the northwest province of Sri Lanka, students are preparing to stake their claim. This computer lab offers 40 computers in Korowawa's only high school. And students are clamoring to receive essential hands-on experience and become skilled in ways that will make them better prepared for the workplace. Many ex-students of Korowawa High School are now employed in computer-related fields which are increasingly in demand as Sri Lanka's economy grows and develops. Sri Lanka has universal primary education and strong literacy rates. But unemployment among its young people is very high at around 17% versus an overall jobless rate of 4%. Often, even if young people finish high school or college, they won't have the up-to-date technical skills that the new job market needs. The Ministry of Education recognizes this issue. That's why we, there was a common uh, criticism that our school, our kids are not uh, soft-skilled or they are not uh, really market-oriented and things like that. Outdated school curricula, insufficient qualified teachers and under-equipped classrooms have all contributed to the problem. The Asian Development Bank has been working to upgrade thousands of high schools across Sri Lanka, improving skills in science, English and technical subjects like computing. The main goal is how to improve the quality in relation to, I mean, the reduction from the education system has to be matched with the needs of the economy. ADB is working with training institutes such as the Sri Lanka Institute of Advanced Technological Education to make sure skills meet the rising demand. In addition, through the practicals, they learn how to blend the theoretical knowledge in practice. As soon as they join to the workforce, they are able to deliver what organizers expect from them. Making education more compatible with labor market needs will help today's youth better able to compete in an increasingly globalized world and promote broad-based economic growth in Sri Lanka.